With so much snow this year, our instinct is to compare what we're experiencing to other years. So Fox 13's Max Roth got some help looking in depth into how close we are to the biggest snowpack year on record. No matter what happens from here, this is a big water year, but it's going to take a lot for us to come anywhere near Utah's biggest ever year for snowpack and flooding. In 1983, water left destructive debris all over Bountiful, and these volunteers in Pleasant Grove sandbagged to divert water in Utah County. Similar pictures in Vernal and Panguitch, with road crews scrambling to allow Memorial Day travel. In Salt Lake City, underground diversions could not handle the onslaught. State Street became a river. These scenes, documented by our partners at the Tribune, came to represent the year of flooding. So what made 83 so off the charts? Glenn Merrill is the hydrologist for the National Weather Service in Salt Lake. We held on to the snow way later than we typically do before we started bringing it down the mountains. It stuck around later and it was a record high snowpack. Then it all came down. Memorial Day weekend in 1983 all of a sudden jumped up into the 90s in the valley and it stayed there. And all that snow that held on late into the year came down at once. Let's show you. This is where we are now, ahead of 1983. That's the dark green line. But it's still February. Normally, snow starts its spring melt in early April, and the higher elevations are depleted by mid-June. That's 71 days, just under two and a half months of melting. In 1983, the snow was near its peak on May 20th. Sudden high temperatures saw the spring melt cascade down, all gone by July 10th, 51 days. A lot more snow in a lot less time. What are the odds that we have uh, similar events and a similar snowpack in late May this year compared to 83? The chances of seeing a repeat of, of the 1980s, they're they're quite slim for a variety of reasons. The three questions Glenn Merrill poses. When will we peak? May 20th was an extreme in 1983. How much snow will we get? It's already a big snow year, but nowhere near 83's high. And when does Mother Nature turn on the heat? Is it gradual or sudden? And even if we see 1983 conditions, we likely won't see 1983's damage. Does Utah have improved infrastructure to deal with this kind of water compared to 1983? Since 1983, absolutely. A lot was learned in, in 1983, and there's been a significant amount of improvements to systems and storage even. Glenn Merrill mentioned that we might not think about our reservoirs themselves in terms of flood control, but that is exactly what they are. Jordan L wasn't there in 1983, and it helps hold back the Provo River. And Little Dell helps control runoff out of the mountains above Salt Lake County. In studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.